Good evening, crafty friends. This is Land the Gift Diva. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm coming on with a video response to Craft Purge's giveaway challenge. Uh, in this challenge, she asked that you uh, send her two or one, at least one um, scrapbook layout with at least two photo mats. And since I've never made a scrapbook layout before, I thought that uh, I would challenge myself and stop a minute and do uh, a couple of these for her. Um, again, this was a challenge for me because I'd never <laughs> done scrapbook layouts before. I mean, I've bought a scrapbook or two, but I've never done anything with it. So here is my entries into this challenge, and I hope you guys like it. So first, <laughs> isn't that cute? So first I went with a little girl tea theme because I like tea parties and little girl things. So I thought that this would be a really cute um, challenge. I mean, a layout. I'm sorry, it's late and my words are crazy. So I don't know what I'm going to say here. <laughs> um, the trim here is from In Love Art Shop. It's a die uh, that I picked up really really pretty and i used that yellow crafters companion paper that i hauled a couple weeks back and then i just lined some multicolored pearls along here along the edge I added some of these really cute felt flowers from hobby lobby the little um envelope die that i showed you a couple days ago from diamond press um i made one of those and just stuck it in there <laughs> i thought that was cute and then these images i got from etsy from mushka I hope I'm saying that right, um, but they have some really pretty images. I use their images all the time, and so I printed these out on my um, Cricut, and so the two little girls are having a little bit of tea, and I used stickles on their dresses so they'd shine a little, and then stickles and bows in her hair. I used stickles in the little hearts in the teacups, and then in the napkins, which was really cute, and then the photo mats are both... Uh, papers that I picked up also from HSN Crafters Companion that I showed a couple weeks ago. I just double matted that for her. And then uh, the little cupcake is from Hobby Lobby. And then the background paper is uh, Anna Griffin, so it's nice and sturdy um, paper. And so that's the first one. The second one is my favorite. So I had gnomes in my head. <laughs> Aren't those cute? And I know that she likes leopard print. And animal print things and so they had animal print clothes on I thought that was so cute so I cut and print those out and little sunflowers and I created this little sign hanging with my Nomi so she could put all of her kids you know a group photo of them on here and then um, I did the put the little leather flowers on here that I got from Tuesday morning maybe I can't remember and then the paper is that background paper I showed you the other day from Anna Griffin the pebble leather looking paper and I just, and this strip is a strip that I picked up at a craft sale, craft yard sale here locally. Um, I got a bunch of strips of different sort of floral strips. And so this looked like grass to me. So I just added it down there and added some Anna Griffin flowers in between them. And I just think that came out so cute. <laughs> I think these gnomes are adorable. <laughs> so I hope she likes it. Oh, I added pom-poms too. Little pom-poms on their, um, I think I got those from Hobby Lobby. Um on their hats so i think these came out really cute i hope she likes them and so those are going to go out into the mail on monday and uh i am still working so i'll have more projects to share with you hopefully uh i am working on a basket for my mother for a charity event and um i don't know if you guys are interested in basket projects um, you know, indicate down below in the comment section if that would be something you'd like to see. I'll probably come up, just pop on and show you the finished project when I'm done. But if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, but this is, I made a little tea journal uh, for the basket. Isn't that cute? It's got um, the little charm on here. And then the papers I got from Etsy. And then I just put little teas inside. 
and I didn't realize that I had Maggie Holmes paper, but I have actually the uh, 12 by 12 bloom pad. <laughs> Who knew? And then, um, that's kind of sad. Uh, and then I just cut those out and put those in there because it matched my theme. So that's really cute. So I'm working on some other stuff to go in the basket. And then, like I said, I'll either put a picture on Instagram or pop back on here. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Gift Diva on, in on Instagram. I'll either pop a picture on there or pop back on here with a little video to let you know, see the finished project. Uh, but that'll probably be tomorrow because after I post this, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Uh, I hope you like these layouts. Thank you for subscribing. I'm all, again, I'm almost at 300 subscribers. Um, March is my birthday month, so I feel like there should be a giveaway going on here. And so uh, stay posted for that. I'll put that up in the next couple of days, hopefully. Uh, and so um, if you like this video, please like it. Um, if you're not subscribed, please considering. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next video. Good night, folks. Bye.